Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We've been commissioned here to create a piece of sculpture in a classical Greek-esque style, but only to be used for a couple of days. The aim is to have a figure created taking inspiration from the figure of Atlas found on the fountain at Castle Howard in North Yorkshire. The total height of the sculpture will be around 7 feet tall, brought down a little from the original 8 feet to accommodate for smaller transportation and ease of manoeuvring in and out of the venue. Rather than a globe, as is often depicted holding on his colossal shoulders, it's being replaced with a capital M, representing the M in rap artist Skepta's clothing brand, Mains. As we're currently booked up with projects here at the studio, and this is simply one that we didn't want to turn down, we're calling upon the services of Chris Groombridge, who's our go-to contact for freelance sculpting. Chris has worked with us enough in the past to earn himself a caricature being made, so I think we can trust him with this one, don't you? He's kept us up to date with photographs along the way, starting off by hot wiring the cubist form and roughly removing the bulk of the material with a knife. When the shape requires some more detailed honing in, nail and wire brushes are used. Without having a physical model in front of you to copy from, it's important to reference back to the photographs and source materials, in this case the images from Castle Howard, and follow these as much as possible. The capital M has been created separately, and will later be positioned and fixed to the main body once it's reached us here at the studio. It's amazing that something like this will only be used for a day or two, probably over the space of a weekend, but we'd like to think that it'll be something impressive enough not to feel the need to throw away. And who knows, maybe it'll end up in Skepta's living room or something. Go on Skepta, pop it in the lounge. This is being carved from polystyrene and is simply going to have a very thin concrete render applied over the top, both for a bit of a shell for strength, as well as artworking to look like a heavy stone. When it gets to us here at the studio, Aidan's going to work on the shape further, make an adjustment to the fingers so that they'll fit wherever the M is eventually placed. He'll also emphasise some more of the finer details before we blank it over slightly with the concrete render. Along with the sculpture, we've been requested to create some extra rocks. These are being made in the same way as the main figure, polystyrene carved with a thin layer of a flexible concrete render. We're also going to be making a smaller version of the capital letter M, and as you saw with the larger version, even this was a little thin and fragile. And so, with the smaller one, we'll be fronting them back in the letter with some hardboard, just to give it a bit of strength. The concrete that we're using to cover the figure and the rocks can be applied simply via a brush, or for flatter surfaces it can be troweled on, 
or even sprayed through a hopper for larger areas of coverage. It's water-based, which means it simply air dries outside or in a warm studio, and for more theatrical pieces, it can either be painted onto with emulsion paints or simply sanded back a little to highlight the high points in the texture. It's a great way not only to coat the sculpture in a grey or whatever colour the concrete's tinted, but it also just helps take the edge off of that beaded polystyrene look. With everything nearing completion here in the studio, it's time to prepare the rocks and sculpture to send off to London. This event is being held at the Banking Hall, a stone's throw away from Bank Underground Station. We've actually created pieces of sculpture for Skepta in the past, where we've made some giant black and grey poker chips for a music event night on the release of his Eyes On Me song. In very much the same way, this sculpture is most likely only going to be used for a very short space of time, but at least here on our channel, we can somewhat immortalise the work and allow it to be seen by many more people than just those at the Mains Fashion Show. Thank you once again to Chris for your fantastic work on this, and thank you to our client Mark Brown for coming to us with the project. The final shot on location is very much appreciated, and please let us know if you have any future sculptural requirements, as we'd love to create something with you again. We always love hearing what you guys think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment below, and by all means subscribe, and give us a follow on social media. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board, and if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.